all are. Yeah, I'll twist and turn, mate. I guarantee it. Yeah, I've got yeah. one myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah they twist and turn. There's no servo in there. Yeah. Put a servo in there. Yeah, just put a servo in the middle. Connect the two rods while we're in the middle. Yeah. You need a retract servo.
give you one.
the base of the eye root of all of them, and if they fly exactly as you test the rules, they get 10 points. Any deviation from those rules, we mark them down. And then on the left hand side, we've got three rules that are um, our 3D pilots, because I'm the same picture who's um, actually a, 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 an ex British captain at F3C, but he's done a great 3D for you today. And then right out on the far left hand side, over the Disney. Uh, also going to say it's 3D. Right, we've got three helicopters to show up in the air now. This is uh, Mr. Steve Roberts from Perth British Air Force Champion. Uh, okay, so Mr. Steve Roberts is uh, the uh, present British Air Force and Scottish Air Force Champion. And next to him is our luckiest chairman, Mr. Roger Mayer. And they're demonstrating some of the F3Ds aerobatic maneuvers. Now this is a little bit different than you know. They're, they're flying precision aerobatics. All these maneuvers are written down in a rule book and they have to fly them exactly as the rules tell them. So all their loops should be the same size and they do so this, this is a candle, get it to be straight up, stop at the top, fall over and then come straight down the same line as it went up and then exit at the same height as it entered the manoeuvre. That's true of all seven of the aerobatic manoeuvres. They all have the same entry and exit height. Loops should be symmetrical. Rolls should be actual. It's all to do with precision. So that's a two-point roll there from Roger Mayo. Again, that should be actual. The helicopter should not drop or, or, or um, ascend during that manoeuvre. So I would have marked him down there, Mr Mayo. Okay, now looking at the two helicopters right in the centre now, the atmospheric, I guess they're about to do some auto. Basically what this is, is they will cut the engine to the helicopter and then just by means of the aircraft descending through the air, the air rushing up through the blade keeps the blade spinning. And then as they get to the ground, they use that kinetic energy, that built up energy, to slow the helicopter down and land it safely. Both these helicopters have now been landed without the engine running, it's just in idle. So as you can see the blades are really slowing up as it gets to the ground. Very well flown, Jeff. Thank you very much. We've been called time. Okay, so well, as I say, only leaves me to say thank you very much to everybody. Please come and see us over at the AHA stand and buy a raffle ticket. If buy enough raffle tickets, I won't come back and talk next time. Thanks very much indeed. Thanks, guys.
organising at the Middle Airport, David Wilshire. Yeah, That's a tank going by. Thank you very much, Luke. Thank you. 